Inside Visual Studio Code, I have an index.html page set up. Click on Source Control and then click on Install Git. So click Open. It will bring you to the Git website. Click on the button inside the monitor to download for Windows. Then click on the exe to install. Click Yes. Click Next for all the items and click Yes on that dialog. It takes a few minutes to install. You can unclick View Release Guide, then click OK. You have to close Visual Studio Code and reopen it for it to work. Go ahead and close it at the top, then reopen Visual Studio Code. If you can't find it, you can search for it in your taskbar. Once it's open, we can go back to the same project, should be open by default. Click on Source Control, and now we can initialize repository. We want to type a commit message and then click the check mark. If you don't have your username and email set, it will ask you. You can click Always. At the end of this video, I show you how to set your username and email. Now we can sync to the GitHub Cloud. We have to authorize our GitHub account. Click Continue. Type in your GitHub username and password. Click Allow to open in Visual Studio Code. Click Don't Ask Again for this extension and open. Click Public Repository. Another dialog will pop up and we have to authorize GitHub one more time. Type in your GitHub username and password. The cloud is now syncing. You can open it in GitHub, and you also want to click Yes to periodically fetch from your remote repository. By opening GitHub, we can see that the repository is now there. Back in GitHub, if you had that error that you had to set up your username and password, you need to open up a terminal. Go to the top, click on Terminal, New Terminal, and then you're going to type in the following commands. I'll type git space config space dash dash global space username, and then quote, and type in your name. End quote. Press Enter. Then you have to set up the email. Type git space config space dash dash global space user dot email space quote then type your email and then another quote and press enter that will allow you to use git locally with visual studio code and then you can follow the rest of the video